morning, Karen. I am so glad to be with you. Thanks for, for joining me and excited to have the chance to talk to you. What are you most passionate about when it comes to coaching or, or why do you think you're so passionate? Um, I find my clients really inspiring. Um, I always learn something about them and about me and about the world from working with really bright, ambitious clients, right? And, and from all of these industries, right? From consumer to private equity to venture capital. Um, and so I love that personal growth that they grow through. And I feel like every time I work with a client, I, I go along with them, right? Um, and it's very much a process, right? So at the beginning, they might not necessarily have a firm grasp of who they are and what are their strengths and how are they presenting it? And, and we go through the journey together and we learn a lot about each other and about them and um, everyone comes out smarter and stronger <laughs> at the end and it's really exciting. So it's really in your mind like you guys are kind of walking through it together. Very much. What do you feel are some of the characteristics that you bring to your coaching? Um, sometimes I say, you know, what is your coaching superpower? But what do you think are some of the traits that really allow you to, to connect with your, with your students? Yeah, so I love just building relationships with them. Again, I really admire them and I'm excited about their candidacy. And I think that that naturally evolves into a strong relationship. Like by the end of the engagement, I had a client last year say something to me like, you know me better than, than I know myself. Like I had reminded him of something he had said, I don't know, on a phone call six months prior. Um, and I, I very much feel that way that the relationship is really strong. I guess my superpower or my favorite aspect of the process I love working on essays and figuring out a creative hook and, and structure to the story and making it really compelling. Um, I like helping make those essays just really personal, like somebody sitting down and having a chat with a friend, right? It's not an academic paper. It's more like a journal entry, right? Um, and so I love thinking about how do we craft that? How do we bring out your, your voice? How do we make this you? When you have worked and you, I know, you know, some of the students that you've worked with, um, what do you, what do you think about like your, I know this is crazy, but like one of your favorite stories of, of someone that you've worked with, not only that they had a good outcome, but that it was a good process. Yeah. So some of my favorite clients are the ones who don't know how great they are at the beginning, <laughs> right? So we'll have the initial phone call and they're really nervous, you know, am I overshooting? I'm thinking about the M7. Um, and as I start to dig, I realize that who they are is so built into them that they don't realize how good it is, right? And so that's why I love this work, right? We draw that out and, and they get to understand kind of, yeah, actually, like I've had clients who say, I don't really have any extracurriculars. And then by the time we get to the end of the process, we realize that the things they do are just so natural. These are things they're just passionate about that they don't realize that even if it's not part of a formal nonprofit organization or something like that, they're still doing all of this great work and having an impact. Right. Um, so I love those clients that just um, they have a really nice humility. Right. But we draw it out and we give them um, a little bit of confidence in their story. And I, I like helping them figure out who they are and what they do and why that's interesting to the admissions committee. Um, and I'm thinking of a few clients. Uh, last year, I actually had somebody, he was a reapplicant, which are always fun to work with because the first year they're, they're um, a little down on themselves. And so mm -hmm. we can help put the pieces back together, right? Mm -hmm. um, and he had been, I believe it was waitlisted at Booth the previous year and wasn't admitted anywhere and came to us. And he now goes to HBS. Um, and we figured out a really nice way to kind of weave together his personal path from a very, very young age and some interesting things he did as a kid and how that drove who he is in his professional life. Um, so I love kind of finding those pieces and doing the detective work, finding those puzzle pieces and putting them together and, and figuring out who he is and telling this great story. And I think, um, you know, certainly that opportunity to really like draw out what, what the student may not know about themselves is, is so important to the work that we do. Um, what do you feel would be a good piece of advice? I know, again, I'm, I, it's, you've been in doing this for quite some time and um, it's hard to sort of focus in on one thing that you would tell your students, but, but what is some advice that you would, that you would share with them? Yeah, so I think a lot of this process, like I said, is about personal growth. And I think the clients who do very well are really open-minded, right? So they're not afraid of uncovering their flaws, right? Um, they're not afraid of making mistakes or, or looking silly, right? They kind of lay it all out on the table and, and, and dive in, right? Um, and so 
I think that clients who are really an open book um, and try to pinpoint, you know, what they could fix and, and how to fix it. And of course, we're here to help them do that. Uh, but, but those clients who who kind of um, are just raw in themselves, I, I, I think they do the best with this process. So Karen, I know that you have an MBA and um, again, encapsulating two years and beyond is kind of tough, but what would you say was so important for you about that experience? Um, you know, as you went through CBS, some things maybe that have affected you long-term or something about your, your years there. What, what do you feel was sort of like some of the major takeaways from, from that experience for you? Yeah, I mean, I really loved business school for a few reasons. One was just the core business skills. I came from a retail background. It wasn't common to have an MBA. And so even things like strategy class or leadership class, I mean, we didn't talk about these topics in the workplace, right? And so this was a place where I could connect with people and explore, right? Um, explore those topics that I had never spoken about theoretically, but maybe seen in practice in some sense, but not necessarily on an advanced level. So those basic business skills are great. Um, but one of the things I really loved about business school was just learning about the world, right? So having classmates from all over the world, traveling with them. I think I traveled to something like, I think it was 12 countries during business wow, school. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And I did a semester abroad in Argentina and I traveled while I was down there. And, and one of my best friends was from Russia and she took a group from our cluster to Russia at the end of our the summer in between business school, which I never would have done if, if I didn't have a friend from Russia, right? Um, so I think just being more of a global citizen and having this amazing global network, I think really, really changed me. <clears throat> is there, are there other things about you? I mean, there's so many things about you, but is there something that you that you want students to know about you and, um, you know, sort of your approach or your, or your view in general or anything? You know, I feel like that, here's that interview question, like what else should we know? <laughs> what else should we know? Um, no, I don't know. I mean, I think, um, like I said, I think so much of this work is about digging deep and helping someone figure out themselves. And so I think the best way to be a successful Fortuna client and also enjoy this process, right, mm -hmm. is to see us as, as your partner, right? And, and we're here along for the ride and connect with us and share things with us. And I love getting those text messages that are like, hey, I just got my GMAT score back. Here's what it is, right? So um, I want to be like, <laughs> I always tell people when they're admitted, I want to be the second call after they call their mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and sometimes I'm the first, I think. That's great. Um, I would agree with you. I love those phone calls. <laughs> yeah, that's very much what I want the relationship to be because that's how important it is to me. And on decision day, I mean, I'm sitting by the phone. I, I'm a nervous wreck <laughs> when decisions come out. So um, I'm just as much part of this process as, as the applicant themselves. Karen, thank you so much. I'm really delighted to spend some time with you. Glad to have our prospective clients and students know a little bit more. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Great. Thank you.